You know our next guest, Jonathan Van Ness, is the member of the Fab Five on the Emmy Award winning Queer Eye. It's known for helping people look and feel good. Come on, you know the show. Yes. Jonathan is also a New York Times bestselling author, comedian, and hairstylist. And now they're launching a brand new show on Netflix called Getting Curious with Jonathan Van Ness. On the show, Jonathan shows his curiosity by exploring all types of new things, from eating bugs to scaling skyscrapers, and even learning how to ice skate. Take a look. I love my curves, I love my swerves, but to hoist all 11 inches off the ice, to do those one and a half rotations takes some strength. Do we want to just go for an axle? Yeah, should I? Yeah. Am I going to kill you? No, you're going to be good. Okay. I've never done a single axle before, but I'm going to do one. Okay. Heel city. Very heel city. <laughs> Wow, Jonathan, that's <laughs> Jonathan joins us right now. Good morning, Jonathan. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank Should I ask you. how are you feeling? I'm, I'm all good. My okay. hips survived that Rough crash. Falls. Well, isn't the guy with the big fishing rod supposed to keep you up? That's part of the plot twist. You'll see that in there. I thought I was gonna. I thought I could really go for it, uh, but it turns out you can in fact fall uh, on yes. the spot and, three and or four did. times. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. All right. So th <laughs> this show is a spinoff of your popular podcast of the same name. So what drew you to turn your podcast into a series? I think, you know, being my first solo series and, you know, executive producing this series, I wanted to do something that felt like a little familiar to me. I've been doing Getting Curious, a podcast for six years, but obviously taking it to TV, I wanted to have a, a world that I felt a little, like, comfortable to explore in and make it different. And in the podcast, I interview one person. In the TV show, I interview, like, three, four, five experts per show. So it's, the TV show is definitely, like, quicker paced. It's a little more fast. It's uh, more layers. Um, of, it's more like a surface on each topic is like, as opposed to such a deep dive where the right. podcast is like an hour of like lots of chatting. This is like, we're giving you action, we're giving you comedy, we're giving you adventure, honey. It's gotta be a dream job, honey. Because, <laughs> because Jonathan, honestly, you get to do whatever you want to do in terms of what are you curious about? Right. And it can go from A to Z, yep. which I think just gives you incredible freedom. It really does. I, so you, you talk about ice skating. You love that as a kid. You've talked about bugs. You like that as a kid. You have a great segment on hair. Conquering yes. fears. Conquering fears. Yeah. Politics, gender. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, we did a lot. Why was it important to step outside your comfort zone? Right. Well, I always say it. I think it's like it's a little bit of a cliche, but I definitely think it's true. We don't grow when we're totally comfortable. I think we grow the most, we experience the most when we get out of our comfort zone. So I did want to take a lot of those, I call them like hard rights. Uh, you think you're going over here, but yeah, we're going to the right. So I did want to do that. I wanted to challenge myself in this series. Um, slight correction, Gail. Wow. I did not like bugs as a child. I've always hated <laughs> them. So I was very scared. But then I moved to Texas, learned that bugs are kind of Interesting, or are they? Are they? No, Who knows? you said you Watch said gorgeous or gross. Oh, here we go. Gross. Gorgeous. You know? Is that a tarantula? Yeah, it's a tarantula. Yes. I, 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 that's my hand. That's not even fake for TV. Like, that is not a hand double. That is my <laughs> hand. I, I almost passed out. Oh but actually, gosh. that bug expert, he's kind of like a brawny, retired, like, fireman. Yes. So he was giving, I felt like there was, like, zaddy vibes so I could relax. <laughs> yeah. But it's you very were safe. entertaining. You were I, I was safe. I was but safe you to know explore. What, Jonathan, you know what's so great? My favorite episode, I have to say, was Bye Bye to Binary. It was? It, it it really was because I think it's really, I thought it was smart, very well, do, very well done. And I know you want to educate, but you said we need to get past that. You said as a little kid, you knew at a very early age, you didn't feel male and you didn't feel female, but you felt alone. And yeah. what you know is you're not alone. Right. And that actually there is just so many people in the non-binary, gender non-conforming trans community that is so timeless. Um, I think so often now we think that this is like a very new phenomenon when in reality, people like me, um, people in, in, in my community have been existing for thousands and thousands of years. And what is more new is our kind of modern interpretation of the gender binary. And, I, and so I wanted to explore that. Um, I wanted to explore it in a way that can still be funny and inclusive. And it's not, um, I'm not finger pointing at you. We're, we're really just exploring and having a good time. And also to that uh, sense, I think in every question in the series, yeah. I try to take like a, how did we get here? Yes. What's going on now? And what are we going to do later? Uh, it's kind of like the Christmas story vibes, you know? Past, present, future on all of these questions to kind of give us a more like full-bodied approach and answer to the questions that I'm asking. Education, but even, but awareness, it, and But you know what? Yes. Even getting ready for this segment, the producer's saying, and they like to ice skate, and they like to, and then they went to, and they got married. And uh -huh. I said, who else is coming besides Jonathan? <laughs> yeah. And they go, no, it's just Jonathan. I mean, I think we all have to readjust our thinking, and it's not on us. 
I mean, it's not on you to make sure that we get it right. Well, I mean, I think we're all on this like exploration of learning. I think that um, it's we're all on an expo exploration of learning, and so I think that obviously this in this year, in the last few years, we've seen a consistent uptick in violence against trans people, yes. violence against gender nonconforming people. So I think any area where I can bring humanity into a lived experience that I've gone through, right. um, I want to do that because ultimately we're all human. We all want to be loved. We all want to be in a community that accepts us, and so I wanted to kind of bring that uh, to the to the the screen in that episode. We should say it's funny too. Yeah, it's very I mean, funny. Your episode, you know, you do some serious stuff because you said you can do both at the same time. Yeah. It can be challenging, but it can also be delightful. Yeah, exactly. Can, can I ask a non work question? Yes. Uh, oh, in your spare time, you do gymnastics? I do. I do. Why? What do you, you love do? about it? Well, you know what it was? I was a cheerleader growing up, and then I became a stand up comedian. You were a cheerleader? I was a cheerleader growing up. Give us a I, cheer. Give us a cheer. Um, go, oh. blue, let's fight. Go, white, <laughs> win tonight. Yes, we were, our colors are blue and white in high school. Blue Devils. Um, I can hear Kathy Dooley cheering me on right now. But That's I, good form right there. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, oh my, my Barani. I had to fight for that ending, but I did it. But yeah, I, I, once a year when you're a former cheerleader, usually what happens is it's usually outside of a bar on concrete, very, not, very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and you do your once annual, can I still do a back handspring thing? Right. Well, yes. in 2019, when I did that, I had so happened to be on stage doing comedy, and then that's when I realized, <gasps> You have a, like a whole audience, like just do a gymnastics routine. So then I started doing gymnastics like seriously again, because now I do like a spoof routine yeah, yeah. that's an actual routine and my stand up comedy shows. It's really funny. The uh, the guy with the big <laughs> fishing rod that keeps you on your feet would be helpful outside of bars sometimes. Yeah, he would, you know? <laughs> he, could, he, he could be a really good spot for gymnastics yeah. too. So I think you have a huge cheer squad. Giselle, who's in our studio, when you walked in, she goes, I love him. Ah, yeah. I go, What do you love about him? She says, Everything. Everything. Ah, <laughs> love you too, Giselle. We appreciate that's you Giselle. so much. Real quick, what do you want I people just, to take I, away from the show? <laughs> I want them to take comedy, um, learning, um, mm -hmm. just a good time. It's, it's also something that's really good for all ages. Your whole family it can is. watch it. it is. Um, I really just want people to take fun and uh, curiosity from Mission the accomplished, thank Jonathan. You so thank you. Sure. Thanks for having me. You're looking fierce today. Thank you. All right, Jonathan Van Ness, thank you so much. Bubble Getting Curious with Jonathan Van Ness is available on Netflix starting Friday.